Making music videos is just one aspect of being an artist. However, it takes a lot of hard work and preparation to turn a vision into reality. <laughs> For us, this was a two-year process. Look at this. <laughs> I broke my tailbone. Oh my gosh, look at this, so pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, so this is gonna be the top like the corset for my music video for another year <laughs> i'm probably gonna lose more weight than this but top probably not gonna change and it she's gonna draw on it it's gonna be so beautiful so this is the beginning stage here say something <laughs> In Bulgaria, it's so warm right now. Uh, this morning I created some content for TikTok. Like I've been creating a lot of content recently. Thinking of where to actually film this video now because I wanted to film it in the Birmingham Royal Ballet. It was just so difficult to, to book the studio because of the coronavirus, because of the lockdown and yeah, and it's just hard to gather even my team. Now I'm planning to do, just book a studio here in Bulgaria, complete the album. But I'll miss my team in the UK to do it. And I don't know, a lot of decisions to make. Produce it myself, engineer it, like everything. I've been practicing my choreo almost every day and I'm trying to keep myself in shape. So I'm doing yoga like every morning like very hard stretches by Christina Dreaming she's amazing um, and it just helps me get back in shape and really you know lose enough weight so, so I'm quite I'm kind of flexible but I've gained some weight in lockdown so I need to burn that and then that'll make it easier if I want to make the splits or whatever um, so it hurts a lot <laughs> But it's gonna be worth it. I have always felt the freest when I'm singing or dancing. When I was young, my family didn't have much money to send me for dance classes. So when I turned 15, I got my first job as a singer in a church choir. And I started paying for my dance classes. Every move in this choreo was first visualized in my head. Almost. <laughs> so I'm rehearsing in this lovely space and uh, I have to thank my friend Svetlana for allowing me to practice here and yeah I've got a mirror now it's like I really need a room with a mirror. I created this choreography to express my freedom. I have always felt the freest when I'm singing or dancing. As a real Aquarius I had to show my rebellious side and show who I really am. Show that it's okay to be wild, to be sexy and to be yourself. Don't ever let anybody else tell you otherwise. I had a very particular image in my mind and I wasn't ready to compromise in any ways. I wanted long hair, red corset, leather trousers. A sensual but wild look. Hi, Eri. How long did it take you to make it? Like a week, maybe. About two days to do all the painting and a bunch more for the sewing and the construction. And I'm really glad you like it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much. Right, so, guys, I think the music video is happening. I'm currently waiting for a friend of mine to arrive. Um, wanna catch up and she may be she may help me with like renting a harp and that would be really useful because we'll need one for the music video so yesterday I confirmed a date to the venue actually 
I was looking for the perfect venue. High ceiling, white walls, big windows. A concert harp in the middle and me dancing around it. At first, I didn't believe that they're gonna let us film there, where only big superstars have made their music videos. So now I had the team, the venue, the perfect custom-made corset. And then something happened. So, here we, got, here we are. Um, I broke my tailbone on the weekend and I'm basically still recovering. I am feeling better. But in the first few days, the pain was so, like, so much that I actually couldn't, um, like, I felt like I wanted to throw up each time I was uh, standing up. Uh, now I can walk. <clears throat> now I can walk um, and I'm standing uh, with, like, I have to really arch my back. Uh, so it doesn't hurt, but definitely breaking a tailbone is not fun. I've learned a lot of lessons uh, because of this whole story. And definitely one of them is to be more patient. Uh, I guess I needed to spend some time with my parents as well. Um, because I just kept working and working and just not really paying much attention to them. I couldn't walk or sit properly for a month and a half. That meant no dancing and no video until it was completely healed. On the bright side, that gave me time to organize everything and to evaluate what I was doing. I also had time to create these gorgeous feather earrings which I wore in the clip. Soon enough, I was back on my feet and I had only 10 days to prepare myself physically for the choreo which I created myself. The hardest part was that I had to do the choreo on heels. My tail was still hurting, but I didn't have much choice. It was so hard with the heels on, um, but I did it. And I'm glad I didn't give up because I was almost ready to choose to do it with normal shoes but it was not it just does it just looks too normal with normal shoes look at these they're gorgeous okay so this is the final look i haven't got makeup on right now but i have to lose a bit more weight not that i'm fat but these trousers seem to make me look so um yeah i'm gonna make some merchandise out of this print in the near future. There we go. There we go. Last day of rehearsals. <sighs> Bought my heels. And I'm sweating so much. Outside is like, I'm pretty sure it's above 30 degrees. This morning was really intense. Um, not gonna lie. I woke up at 6 a.m. Uh, to get my hair done and stuff. This is like the big harp that we're transporting, thanks to dad, who traveled all the way <laughs> to focus. We're on the main road and uh, I'm in front with my harp. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I had to call the team. Oh, we're gonna be half an hour late. I hate being late and it was just, oh, okay. We, we made it. Uh, the important thing is um, we are getting there and if everything is okay on the road, we'll be there. All together. Yes. I meant to record this like a couple of years ago, but then it just didn't happen because of Corona. And uh, I was looking for a very specific type of venue with big windows like this one. Um, yeah, I think we found it. Is it like what the trouble is? Yeah, that's it. Um, Thank you.
So uh, we are waiting for uh, Johan to come and we need to do the first scene and choose which lens to use. If you've got some vintage ones, you've got like normal ones as well. Um, I forgot to explain him one thing which I'll tell him in a sec, yeah. So I'm, I'm prepping with the heels on. <laughs> How does it feel to be in the director's chair? <laughs> Really good because I am the director. <laughs> <laughs> I feel promiscuous because I need you, baby. I can't let go when I feel your body. Love me slow. Yeah, I'll be your lady. I love your way because I need you, baby. I just can't get enough of you. The meaning behind this video is more complex than what most people might think. The space that we are in is society. The harp is the victim of it. And there is me, saving it from the frame that society has tried to put it in. The same frame that it has been trying to put me in since childhood. As a real Aquarius, I had to show my rebellious side and show who I really am. Show that it's okay to be wild, to be sexy and to be yourself. Don't ever let anybody else tell you otherwise. I created this choreography to express my freedom. I have always felt the freest when I'm singing or dancing. The moves that I make in the chorus kind of tell Hey, look at me, I am free. Take me as I am because I'm perfect this way. The bridge, I'm literally making a bridge on the floor. We couldn't get a good shot of it, but to create the bridge, I am basically falling backwards to the ground, which is like, you can bring me down or try and bend me. Yes, I will be vulnerable, but in the end, this is going to be my remedy and it will make me stronger. I have to admit that it's actually harder to learn something that is in your head rather than seeing it or hearing it at first and then just repeat it. The last interesting moment is when the concert harp turns into my electric baby harp. His name is George. I travel everywhere with him. He's a total representation of what most people don't expect a harp to be. To conclude, I don't like it when people try to put us into frames or tell us who and what we should be. It's not easy to be authentic these days, especially with social media, but we can at least try to be better and love ourselves more. Guys, we made it! We made it! We made it! This is Martina, she was our pro DJ Martina. Legend. I'm dying, so we're going home. I am extremely grateful to the universe for my team. For how everything aligned for this song and video to become. Thanks to all of you who support me and follow me. You make it all worth it.